G'day everyone, Matt Elder Family Bricks here, and welcome to the Top 5 Mocks, Episode 2. LEGO can be made into all sorts of amazing builds, and each week we try to find the top 5 that we've seen. If you want to see more of these My Own Creation Mocks, be sure to like, share, and subscribe on whatever platform you're using, and be sure to subscribe to our mailing list at mattelder.com to be alerted when we put out new content. If you wish to support the show, you can support our kids' Bricklink store. It can be found at store.bricklink.com forward slash tribal nobody for all your needs to build amazing LEGO constructions and help out a couple of young entrepreneurs. So without further ado, let's get to this week's list. So coming in at number five this week, it's this Black Falcons Fortress 2022 made by Brick Duval. Now what this is, is just actually a recreation of a 1986 Lego set that was officially released and you see it here which was in the early days of Castle. And you can also sort of note that it has this function where if you turn around to the back, the side sort of opens up. So this is just like a modern day version of that and can really show just how far Lego has come in building techniques, bricks available, and just create a pretty cool little mock. And again, it sort of opens up as the original does. And then you can see it from another angle there. The only thing I would say is just on that back place there, it does seem just a little bit empty, but the structure works for what it is. But for me, the interesting part is this black and yellow Tudor type building with some really great detailing in there. And even when it's around the other side, you can see it's poking out the top there. Coming in at number four is this Jurassic Park Fleetwood RV Mobile Lab by Jean Jansen. And with the sixth film just around the corner being released, it's always good to go back to the second one and have a little bit of nostalgia from that. This mobile lab was a big part of that initial sequence and they've really gone through and done it out in great detail. Here you can see the front and they've used a different combination of colors and techniques to build that up and give it a little bit of texture and try to get that camouflage. And it is quite a long vehicle as when mummy gets angry, it does get pushed over the edge. It also seems to open up so you can access all the internal parts of the lab and would be great for play features. Always seem to think of that line from the film, you know, later comes the running and screaming. So I'm sure that you can have those sorts of play features. So a great one to have in anticipation of the next film coming up. Coming in at number three is the Harry Potter Ministry of Magic expansion, which takes two of these official sets and about another 1400 bricks. And you're able to make this quite detailed scene with lots of little vignettes in and around it. Love the way that they got the coloring and they've extended off that and created a statue in the middle, which can be viewed from different angles. And it really does take that sort of bare bones aspect of the sets and really fills them out. Then if we go around to the reverse side, we've got some more pictures down here. You can start to see the phone box from Muggle Street, which has a little string and it can go down into the lower sections, giving some great play features. Then just as you go around it, you can see there's some really great detailing and greebling and keeping in with that consistent color theme, which is the grays with highlights of greens and the red phone box really stands out. So as the description's listing out there, it takes some elements of the sets and then goes through and extends on it. So you have the Department of Magical Games and Sports and also beneath that, there's also a bit of a courtroom. And rounding it out, you got a great upward looking shot there and really start seeing how all those details are coming together. Coming in at number two is the trailer to the recently released Optimus Prime and being a kid of the 80s, of course, this was gonna feature in here and it was only gonna be a matter of time before somebody came up with a trailer to match the rest of the set. So this one can be found on YouTube and it does go through in terms of a video and shows you the instructions instructions to build it and it's been done by and I'm going to butcher this Hi Chikiro U24 there's been a couple of these trailers which I've seen but this is by far the best it's really got the stripe done really well and then as you go through it actually opens up as the original toy did and has the internal sort of repair robot the transformers were actually a line that which are brought over from two separate lines over in Japan one called Diaclone and the other called Microchange now in the Diaclone line they actually had the trailer more as a robot repair bay so it would stand up on the end and be able to fix the main robot sort of mech in the middle so it's great to see that this mock is then having a nod to that and also showing that it can do that. If there's one criticism I would have of the mock it is that it doesn't include roller and also the little spring in the back of the trailer which enabled him to be able to launch out of that. But I'm sure somebody else out there will eventually come up with a modification and add that in. It'd just be a great little detail to have in here just to really round it out. But overall, it's a very awesome sort of job that they've gone through and been able to do and it just so looks the part. And this is actually one of the largest Optimus Primes that have actually been released in any form of toy media. And considering it's Lego, that's pretty fantastic. This this week's number one is the Lego Cyborg General Head, also known as General Grievous by Martin Design. Originally Optimus's trailer was going to be number one, but as soon as I saw this, that had to edge it out. General Grievous's head is actually quite a weird sort of design with lots of curves, and they've actually managed to capture that really, really well with this. When I looked at one of the Art of books for particularly episode three, the original design was done by a designer who just happened to go into a bathroom and saw just a little bit of plumbing and then did the whole design based upon that. 
they've really been able to achieve some great curves and even from the back with the detailing it's quite amazing how they've been able to come up with a result even the way they've managed to capture the eyes and sort of get that sort of cyborg slash organic type feel that's really quite impressive so another week and some great fantastic designs which have come out there and it's always amazing to see what people come up with and certainly in general grievous this week has really knocked it out of the park if you'd like to have your mock featured in a future episode be sure to drop us a line at matt at mattelder.com don't forget about the family bricks bricklink store for any of your mocks store.bricklink.com forward slash tribal nobody here are some previous week's top five mocks or some other videos that you might be interested please like share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one